They want us to find the equation of the quadratic function that passes through these three points. So what we need to do is take the generic form of a quadratic, which is a, oops, ax squared plus bx plus c. And now we're going to take each one of these points, I'll color code these, I'm going to take each one of these points and plug it, in, plug in for x and y so that we have three equations with the three variables a, b, and c. So the first I'll plug in 20 for y and 3 for x. 3 squared is 9, so I'll write 9a plus 3b plus c. Notice I'm plugging in for x and y, which means my variables now are really a, b, and c. Let's do the same thing with this next problem. I'll do pink for my pink-haired friends out there. We've got 13 equals, because that's y, 2 squared is 4, so 4a plus 2b plus c, and the final one is going to be 8, that's your y, equals a plus b plus c. And now you'll see that you have three equations with three unknowns, so I can set up a matrix equation, 9, 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. I'll take the inverse of that matrix and I'll multiply it by my resultant matrix, which is 20, 13, and 8. And using my calculator, I'll get my three answers, which is a piece of cake. And so your answer is 1, 2, 5. So 1 is A, so I'll rewrite my equation. 1x squared plus 2 is b, 2x plus 5 is c. And there's my answer right there. You can check it by plugging each one of these points in, and you'll see that they all work. That's how you find the equation of a quadratic function given three points. You could also do that given four points on a cubic, or given five points with a quartic.